can you guys say hi <laughs> do you guys see my kid yesterday was um the one year mark of losing my mom it was not only a hard day but i had a lot of anxiety leading up to that week and i was slammed with the business meetings and one thing that really got me through this year was staying busy and i know that's not really a good tactic was is staying busy and um forgetting about what what you're hurting about on days i wasn't busy and i was just sitting at home my head went to a very dark spot so i stayed busy and since i've moved here i've been going 100 miles an hour but i still am finding the balance of thinking of her appreciating her remembering her and every day i strive to make her proud this year like oh my gosh it's like my mom passed away in December of 2019. So going into the new year, I did not have any new year resolutions. I didn't have any 2020 is going to be the best year ever. None of that. I already went into it knowing this is going to be a hard year to go through. Let's just get through this year. I dealt with severe depression, severe anxiety. I was kicking Josh out of the house every other day. I did not want anything to do with the marriage. I just wanted the pain to go away. So the first um, three months were awful. I just was in such a dark place. I, I was just a, a walking numb zombie was the first quarter of 2020. And then the world fell apart with the coronavirus. Literally a world shut down happened. I'm like, is this a joke? Is this seriously a joke? Like I lost my mom and then the world shut down. And so from there, it's like we were all trying to figure life out. And then I kind of had this like uprise and then I went back down and I got on medication and I was so medicated with what the doctors put me on. I was walking around with a smile, just like I lost who I was. I lost my motivation. I lost my energy. And then as many of you know, I decided to move to Florida and that's how this year ended. So that's how 2020 went for me. I was depressed, the world shut down. I was medicated and then I decided I'm gonna get off medication. I'm gonna live the life that would make my mom proud. And then when I moved out here, it was kind of when God let my marriage fall back into place. I just had to learn to stop pushing Josh away and kind of let things happen. I gave up and I moved with my kids and I will say it once and I'll say it again, it's the best thing I've ever done for my career, for my mental health, for myself. I do miss my family and this is a whole nother topic for a whole nother video, but I do think that um, my kitchen's dirty and I need to clean it. <laughs> and I also think that everyone should move out of their small hometown at least once in their life. Maybe you'll end up back there, but moving out, you're going to grow and you're going to become so independent. And I moved out here alone and it was amazing and I grew so much. And I also learned that when I let Josh be here for me, he's here for me and he came out here. It's like, that's who I have to lean on because I don't have anyone else. But I also was able to show him I can do it alone. And for him to see that was like, I need to take her under my wings and take care of her. I think Josh is in a great place and I think I'm working on on all of that. Yeah, I knew I was coming up on the one year mark and um, I knew it was gonna be hard and I was sitting in church Sunday, it is Thursday. And I just, I was, I heard her favorite worship song and it is, it's your breath in our lungs and she passed of lung cancer. And she always said, it's God's breath in my lungs. As many of you know, she became a speaker. She would walk into events to speak and she could barely make it in the doors. And my dad would say, you know, honey, like maybe you shouldn't do this. People will understand you're sick. And she's like, no, it's, it's, it's his breath in my lungs and he will carry me through. <laughs> okay. Okay, sure. <laughs> so that song came on and I just kind of lost it. I go in between these weird moments of being so angry that you lost that person to wanting to live a good life and make them proud to just being honored that you even got to know them. So I go in between being angry to um, really missing her to 
wow, I got an amazing mom for 25 years and a lot of people can't say that they got that. And so I just try to think of like other people have it worse. I try to think of that a lot and I try to just feel blessed that I got to have her, but all these emotions and now I'm probably gonna have to shut this camera off to finish this, but all these emotions came came to me and it was hard and then we filmed about it and so it's kind of hard like when I do have those bad days and there's cameras here, um, it's hard to, to hold it together. People message me all the time who watch the show and they're like, how are you holding it together? How do you seem so strong? And I'm not, like I just wait for the cameras to be gone. I wait until I'm alone. I, I had a hard time even letting Josh come in the same room as me when I was thinking about my mom. And um, that's when I break down. Sometimes I think, wow, I have this audience watching me and they're going through this. So maybe I should show them more raw emotions and just be organic behind the camera. So anyways, it's just been, the balance of this year has just been really hard. And then getting on the internet and everyone selling me what they think I should do about, about my marriage and the way I parent. And 2020 has just been a judgmental year in, in itself. You have this side clawing at this side and there's been just so much division this year and I just, hated 2020 like it can jump off a cliff and it can go in the trash it really can the video is a little different i i didn't even shut my cabinet or clean my house to make it oh, i just started body by matt class and i've been a wreck this week and i'm like i'm gonna set up the camera not even caring what the background looks like and um show show my raw emotion so it's not like a vlog where we do fun stuff so I have the best family ever. They're all back in Oklahoma. And when Josh went back to Oklahoma, cause he like came here and then went back and brought his work stuff here. Cause he's like, I'm going to be with you guys. So that's where we are. Um, I don't really like to talk about us cause then I have to hear your guys' opinions and I, 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 don't, I don't really care for them unless you're positive. But when he went back home, him and all of my siblings spouses got together so all the in-laws got together and they decided to make these books um yeah um <laughs> uh, there's this one and i'm gonna open it up i have not went through these yet in this one and it's so special so much hard work was put into this because i get to keep this and i get to open it and i get to remember her and always read stories to my kids so i want to show you guys the hard work that was put into these so all of her posts and it has the date in the post because what she did was the day that my mom found out that she got sick with cancer she wrote a status and it was positive and we're like why are you being positive like this is the worst news ever and she's like that's not how i'm gonna go down like i'm gonna go down inspiring the world so she wrote this post and it had a verse and then she would write like a, a life situation and how it applied to the Bible verse. And it was just inspirational. And then she started speaking and every single day that she was sick until she died, she made posts. She, yeah, she made a post every day. And then she like had over a hundred thousand people reading her posts every day. And then she wrote a book and became a speaker. And it's like, she spent every day of her sickness inspiring you guys and making sure in any way, if she could let anyone know that God loves them so much and they matter, that she did that. She was never angry about her sickness. She was never sad. She was never scared to leave because she knew exactly where she was going. And she didn't care that she was sick and, and gonna have to leave this earth. She just wanted to make sure that she was doing God's work. <laughs> so yeah, my world, yeah, it fell apart when I lost her. I could sit and talk about how amazing she is all day. Now I'm working on my own book and one day I want to make a documentary where I start with her life from the beginning to the end and I can't really tell her story 
from the beginning because I wasn't born yet, but that's where we bring all of the people in her life in it. So I'm excited about that. That's that's coming in the future. There's so much to her. Her book didn't do it justice. Like people ask, is she really that amazing? And I'm like, this doesn't justify how amazing she was. The show didn't show how amazing she was. The book doesn't show how amazing she was. Her Instagram didn't show how amazing she was. She did stuff all the time and didn't brag about it, but we saw it and I just have been really blessed with the mother to set such a good example. And even though this year was hard for me to get through and I still have a long ways to go, I was left with her legacy and her inspiration to become what I'm working on in the future. And she always told me I'd go far and she did get to see me launch my business and I'm taking that business and I body by Mac and justice nutrition and running with it. And I want to make her proud. I just wanted to show you guys these books because Josh, my sister-in-law, Jordan, and then there's Corbett and Tim got together. They worked really hard. Really the crafty one here is Jordan. Let's be honest, we know that Jordan did all this work herself, but she worked so hard. And so every night I can look at these and read them and remember, and you guys can look at it by going to her Instagram account, Angie Dalvid. But I don't think I wanna add this into a vlog. I think I just wanna upload this. And I just wanna say thank you for everyone who was inspired by her and who followed her. I made it through this week. I went and taught a class tonight and realized I'm standing in front of these people who are in my class. I'm doing what I'm loving. I'm working on launching my app. I'm here doing a lot of stuff. And next week, which will be in next week's vlog, I am taking a trip home to Oklahoma to see my family. And I'm so excited to spend Christmas with everyone, even though Christmas was always my mom's favorite holiday. So it is not the same. It's never gonna be the same. I actually tried to skip Christmas this year, but I have children. Um, <laughs> And I need to um, think about them. I love you guys. And thank you for loving my mom over the years. And always be kind.